and hello. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. My name is Matt Bailey. I'm the National Ambassador for the SMWS in Australia, uh, the world's biggest whiskey club. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you a bit now, um, a bit about a few, a few announcements, a few things about events coming up and a few special announcements that I wanted to get out today. Um, really happy for you to join me. I'm actually going to be broadcasting live on Instagram at the moment at the same time as recording for you on YouTube. So that's why I'll be looking a little bit at both sources here, but um, rest assured I'm talking to you both. Um, a, few, a few special announcements for today, which is super exciting. Um, we've just announced all the gathering tastings. So the gathering format is a, is a series of experiences coming up around Australia and in fact around the world, where there'll be a very special cask from Distillery 33 with a few other casks as well that we're gonna be sharing around for members uh, around the country, which is super exciting. Um, so all the events, I'm going to put them up on the screen now for those on YouTube. All the events are upcoming in September. One of which is already sold out, which was our Vaults event, um, of course. But I've got a bit of paper here, so I don't get the dates wrong. Vault 1682 dinner in Sydney, that has sold out, I'm afraid. But after, just after that is a Bricks Distillery rum night, a single cask rum night that we're going to be hosting in Bricks Distillery in Surrey Hills. So please come along with that. It's going to be a great night. We're actually featuring R13.1. It's the latest in the rum codes. It's from a very desirable uh, rum spirit, I should say. Uh, following that, we've got a rare Brooklady evening. This is, to the best of my knowledge, and I've done a bit of research, uh, the rarest Brooklady night uh, ever in Australia, ever hosted in Australia. So we're going to be opening casks that have never been seen in Australia before, had never been opened at events at least, at the very least. So this is going to be, and also a very special two different Brooklady casks from the SMWS. Then we've got the, the gathering in Canberra on the 26th of September, the gathering in Melbourne also on the same night, 26th of September, the gathering in Adelaide on the 27th, and then the gathering in Sydney also on the 27th. They're all the big format events. They're gonna be heaps of fun. You come along to them, taste a few different things. Jenny's worked out some things with water and uh, color and different sort of elements of whiskey for the Adelaide group. Sydney, we're still working out all the details, but that's gonna be a big one at the Royal Automobile Club upstairs in the Macquarie Room, a classic old school tasting if you like. Uh, Melbourne's gonna be upstairs at Melbourne Whiskey Room, upstairs from Whiskey and Ailment, the partner bar there. And Canberra's gonna be also the partner bar at Hippoco. So we're gonna be at all of those uh, venues coming up in the next in the next month, I should say. Um, so I hope to see you all there. There's some heaps of details gonna be announced online very shortly. I'll put the events up just one more time for YouTube here so you can see the dates of what's upcoming. All the events are currently on the website, but they go on sale next Monday. So if you're watching this between Saturday uh, the 9th, I think, tomorrow, or the 10th, and then they go on sale on the 14th of August next week. So more events to be announced, of course, around the country. Those are the first ones to come for next month, but we've got more coming as court soon as well. Uh, I got asked a question in my last video online, which I didn't get a chance to respond to straight away, uh, which was, what is, what was this box on my desk? It was kind of like, um, it's actually not something I created from scratch. That was the assumption. And it was, um, it's not a, it, at all. I'll hold that a bit closer to the camera here and a bit closer for my audience on Instagram at the moment. This is actually an old school SMWS gift box. I reckon this is around uh, early 90s. Um, I think it's around early 90s. I, I think I said as well, Andrew would be better at dating this than I would be, but it's um, it's got a bit of a mark on, on the um, on the actual logo side there, but it's got a nice felt lining around it. And this is what I drew the names out of for um, the winner of the one of one bottle hand fill society cast from for last month who ever joined. And congratulations again to Christopher Tan for winning that. And the big announcement, the two big announcements I've also got today, and there's a lot to go through I know, and so I'm trying to get through it all. Um, we are, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is proudly going to be at the Sydney Whiskey Fair, the Oak Barrel Whiskey Fair, uh, later this month. That's going to be on the 30th and 31st. I believe it has sold out, um, but if you're a member of the Society, come say hello. We've got a table up on the up on the stage. We've got a stand down below. It's our biggest ever offering at the fair. Wait till you see what we've got planned here. It's so exciting. Uh, and then we've got, of course, so at Oak Barrel as well, and then we'll be... The other announcement I have for you as well right now is that Old Fashioned, I saw a few people asking in our Facebook group, uh, is Australia getting the Old Fashioned? Yes, we are. Not only have we got it, but we're releasing it next week. So we're releasing it pretty much just straight after the UK have and all the other branches have. It's an 11 year old blended malt from an X IPA casks. It sounds crazy, it is crazy. It's a really tasty, approachable, 
affordable malt that is going to be something a space on everyone's shelf for i hope um, that's all i've got today a real quick one today obviously just to knock a few things in the head we're at the whiskey fair we've got the gathering events coming up i'll show those dates once more on screen for those on youtube and keep an eye out for old-fashioned blended malt next week i'm going to say thursday probably the day after the events come out one thing at a time i think that's all for now thank you so much for being a part of it thank you anyone on instagram who've been watching i can see a few people live at the moment which is great uh i'm going to be doing a few more of these videos hopefully at least i'm not going to promise how many but a few more at least as we've got things coming up that need announcing and i'll have something up on um probably monday night which will be something our next one so um in the meantime have a great weekend happy fridays and uh, i'll see you next week cheers